It's Sarah with MyNaturalBabyBirth.com. I was going to talk to you today about the third part of my diastasis journey, I guess. I just put a post on the site about part three, part three of how to fix your diastasis. And I'm about three and a half months postpartum now. And when I checked my separation uh, after I got home from the hospital, the middle and top of my belly had about two fingers width separation and it was really loose and deep. And when it's loose and deep, you know that the tissue is really weak. So I've been doing these exercises. I've had to improvise a little bit, but and I'll get back to that. But I checked again last week and my bottom is closed below my belly button, but in the middle and top again, it's still, it's still two fingers wide. And I was really annoyed, but it is tighter and firmer. So I thought, okay, something's working. I'm doing something right. But then I thought about it and I, and I'm not doing all 800 plus of the exercises three times a day. Okay. That's a lot of time. So, and, and then, okay, there's two exercises. There's the tightening, crunching type exercises while you're upright holding a splint across your belly. And then the second one is where you're laying on the floor holding your splint doing these little head lifts. And because it's the Tupler technique. Check out part one and two if you don't know what that is. And I stopped doing the head lift ones because it started to hurt my neck. I got in a wreck as a teenager and I've been fixing a neck injury I got like 15 years ago and I'm almost done fixing it so doing those little head lifts was hurting and so I stopped doing that I'm like I don't want to make this worse now the tightening squeezes with the splint I was doing them reading emails and at home and it, it just wasn't working so what I do now before I get in my car driving to work or driving home like I am now I tie my scarf really tight around my belly while I'm driving and then as I'm driving, I will do the exercises. I'm not this second, of course, because I'm talking to you. Don't want to do too much at once. But, and I'm not I'm not counting them. I'm not, oh, I got to hit my 800 or 900 little squeezes every day. I'm just doing it while I'm driving because that's so much to count. And I thought, okay, well, if I'm doing kind of like half of what the technique calls for, then yes, it's gonna take longer to fix my separation. But there's still improvement, there's still progress. I can tell, I can tell a difference still. So I thought, okay, I'll stick with this. I might be one of those cases where it takes up to a year or more to fix this problem. And that's okay. I mean, our bodies don't change overnight. But I just wanted you to know, if you are working on fixing yours, it takes time. If you don't want to do the Tupler exercises, you can look at the Moon 2 system, and I've got links on all parts, all three posts for that that you can look at if you want. But remember, even if it doesn't happen super fast, it will. Just stick with it. I will. I'll let you know in maybe another month or two what's going on, and we'll see you there. Remember, you can do hard things. If you like this video, share it, like it, thumbs up wherever you are, and just subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Okay, see you, bye.